White House Coronavirus Task Force has received proposed recommendations on reducing social distancing. Some federal health experts advising President Donald Trump on the COVID-19 response have submitted recommendations to the White House Coronavirus Task Force, guidelines that seek to reopen some schools and businesses in cities where infection rates are low, a senior federal health official directly involved in creating the guidelines told CNN. The guidelines are only recommendations at this point, which would be considered by the task force then submitted for Trump's approval. In recent days, the White House has said it would review recommendations and announce new guidelines early this week. The official characterized the recommendations as a middle ground agreement between keeping the country shut down and trying to reopen the entire thing. The source would not reveal which lower infection states might be included. Manhattan won't be impacted by these guidelines, but places in middle America will, the official said. Interactive. Tracking COVID-19 cases in the U.S. CNN has reached out to the White House, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and has not yet received responses. The proposed recommendations call for cities to reach benchmarks before allowing people to go back to school, return to daycare or go back to work while still implementing social distancing measures. The official did not offer any specifics about the benchmarks but did say that state and local agencies will have to work together to decide what is best for their communities. The recommendations allow for schools to open first, the SOAR said. This is what we should have done in the first place. Some schools should have never closed. Under the proposed return to work recommendations, businesses would be recommended to try a phased approach. Those who are more vulnerable and at higher risk of contracting the disease will be recommended to telework, those who are younger or those who are non-immune compromised, those who are healthy, are going to be asked to phase back into the workplace, the official said. Those severely ill, anyone showing symptoms, or people who are at higher risk, should continue to stay home. Listen. The Coronavirus. Fact vs. Fiction podcast The officials stressed that these would be guidelines and that it would be up to individual state and local officials to decide how to move forward. We can't have everything open and we can't continue to tell people to stay inside, the SOAR said. Continuing the pause like we have been is not sustainable socially. It's not sustainable economically. Vice President Mike Pence told Fox News Saturday night that we are following the data as the task force prepares to release guidelines. We are literally doing tens of thousands of tests a day, Penn said. And we've got a great deal more understanding about where people have contracted the coronavirus, who has recovered, who is most at risk, and the regions of the country most impacted. So, while the president has said that he would like to open the country up in weeks, not months, we are going to be bringing that data forward to him. When asked about the risk posed to the general public and how the recommendations would be received, the senior federal health official told CNN. There is going to be risk. Click subscribe to receive the latest news.